Hello, welcome back to 5pm catch up um, and I just arrived home um, from my grocery shopping and I think it would be a great idea to show you. So I finally lay out all the stuff that I got out of the shopping today and um, it's quite hectic so it's taken me some time hope you've had not so much of a hectic day today my day is actually quite long and I'm so tired so I did go out to do a grocery shopping just to clear my head but I'm still very feeling very tired so I may have a night I mean I guess an easy night and not that I can go out anyway I mean things got a little bit out of control every time I go there because I first of all I don't go there very often so every time I go I try to make sure I get all the stuff I want or I need um, for the next little while so I probably go once a fortnight okay so first of all I think I can show you just a quick shot of all the stuff that I got today um, before I go into any details let me start here so these are some veggie options I mean you know for those of you you know who are from Hong Kong you probably know and um, you can recognize these are very Asian like veggie and I don't think any Coles or Woolies have them um, so I got some I don't know Tong Chai <laughs> uh, how do we call this uh, and then um, I'm just too lazy but I got some um, spinach as well um, there's also a Chinese um, is it Chinese cabbage is that how we call it one bok I think um, and then mid autumn festival is coming up and I'm really feeling like mooncake so I got two um, I got some traditional ones I think oh that, this is actually the traditional one um, which is I think they are made in Australia. Um, so lotus paste, mooncake with some um, egg yolks. Double, <laughs> double egg yolks. Very classic. Got some um, iced, I mean snow whiskey mooncakes, that's how we call it. Um, but basically these should go into the fridge. Um, and then I also somehow feel like Kanyun rice ball, we call it rice ball, okay. Um, but because they're usually really sweet, some sugar free ones. This is something that's also unique to Asian supermarket in Cantonese is Wu Si. Um, and I just found it so easy because, like, whenever I make some soup or like you know, stuff, I'll just chuck a few in. I just like the texture, it's very hard to describe. If you're interested, let me know. I will make you some next time. <laughs> and then I got the papaya. Um, apparently, it's very good for your skin. Um, this, moving on, um, this is actually a set. So let me introduce that to you. I'm oh, going to make bibimbap. That's why I got the um, chili paste and also um, some ingredients like the mushrooms and the bean sprouts. Um, but the reason why I got so many tofu is that I came across this recipe that instead of rice, they use tofu uh, for, for that bibimbap. So I'm really keen to try it out. I also got the extra one because um, I want to make this tofu brownie. Um, sounds very, I guess, interesting. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I may need a bit of luck for that. Um, and then these are just some more um, noodles. Ah, oh, corn jack noodles. Is that how they call it? But basically, just um, different versions of that, which is similar to this guy here. Um, they made it into noodles form, and they were supposed to give you that kind of texture, but also low in carbs. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. And then uh, we have these big guys here. This is just the sweet potato that I really love. Um, it's actually purple inside. A taro. And I'm thinking I can probably, you know, turn it into some dessert or I can, yeah, see how I go with that. And then these two guys are also the highlight for today. It's actually one of the reasons why I went to the Asian supermarket today. Um, it's evaporated milk. I mean, trust me, I had no idea what that this is for um, until just a few, probably a few weeks ago. This particular friend, she's so um, specific with her coffee after so much, I guess so many, so much effort and so many experiments. She found that adding evaporated milk really elevated your coffee. So I'll probably go test it tomorrow. 
um, and originally I wanted to get the light and creamy version but I reckon I can compare these two and see what's the difference these are some more veggie lotus um, slice and also some beans so this is actually a selection so I've got the yam, sweet potato and taro um, some more beans I don't think this is very special sorry I do feel you're special but um, you are very healthy um, what else yeah these two little friends um, they are eggs but they are salty eggs and they are duck eggs um, I'm getting them oh this is actually uh, <laughs> this is the preserved duck egg so it does taste very strong um, and together they make really um, good soup I think rice cake this is actually my love of I guess yeah I do really like it you remember that mochi cookies I made they are of um, very similar texture like chewy and sticky so again if I can add it into the soup or if I can um, I'll I can probably have that for the whole day it's really yum uh, shouting out to all the friends out there who love um, you know a good ox tongue um, <laughs> some of you may find it disgusting but I really like it so again the texture is a bit chewy um, you know and you really have to be specific with how long you cook it for yep so that's all I've got today and as you can see it's quite hectic so I have to go um, you know clean it prepare it and um, put it into the right places um, and yeah, so just a very typical grocery shopping uh, from me and I just want to show you again all the stuff that you can get here um, and hope you've had a great day and if you're going for grocery shopping make sure you get something you like um, after a long day like this. Alright, hope to catch up with you soon and yeah, I really gotta go. Bye! And I think I can sit back and just enjoy that this little guy we got from the Asian supermarket. That, you know, while I'm having my mooncake, um, you know, we can. Oh, 